Hello guys, welcome back. Today we have another poster text uh, effect uh, tutorial for you and this time we'll take a look at uh, the new movie Dune's um, poster design. I've got the reference here. Uh, I mean, we're only going to have a look at the text effect here, what they use, and uh, it's a very interesting one. I, I really like it. It's, a, it's, just, uh, it's just very punchy. It's simplistic but still very punchy for me. And um, yeah, so let's take a look. I mean, I would probably just go into 3D and just play around with materials and stuff, but I wanted to do this video with uh, only using Photoshop and not going into the 3D. And we can get pretty close to this. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it gets pretty close. And uh, let's have a look. So we got this design I already prepared. And uh, let me just uh, have a look what we got here. So. So all we have here, all these are um, just um, path I created. So if we take a look at this, let me just zoom in to letter D and use P to pen tool and then just select like this. So you can see there's an anchor point here and uh, there's another one here. Oops, sorry, let me just... So you can see I just dragged it all the way here and then went back and do the same on the other side. Super simple because like basically every letter is the same. It's just you have to kind of like uh, rotate them in a way and and that's all so let's take a look how that actually builds up um if i would do it myself i would probably go and do the shape in illustrator just because i could corner these nice uh, uh edges off so um that would be great but I, I didn't want it to use two apps so purely photoshop and we got pretty close so that's awesome so as you can see, if we go into the effects panel, but first of all, um, inside the shape and path, I created this gradient. That's basically how the shape builds up. You can see if I start dragging this, you can see I can completely um, change the look. Uh, but okay, let's just let's just go somewhere here. Yeah, that's fine. And the color I used, uh, it's. D double A E76 and that works well for me. So once that's done, it's just a stroke basically. Uh, we go into the FX panel and let's take a look. So so what I did first of all, uh, bevel and emboss, and we started off with an inner bevel and I smoothened the technique and I kept the depth to 313. You can change it to 300, I don't know, I just 313 worked for me size 8 and then softness soften 3 and the angle and the altitude is very important um, I got this result with my, uh, minus 30 degree and uh, altitude 50 degree gloss contour is um, just the one at the very end here and I didn't use uh, well I didn't use why I didn't use mm -hmm. Oh, let's just turn on the anti aliased -ali that just looks good okay highlight mode color dodge 75% shadow mode multiply 75% and that pretty much how basically you defined this kind of 3d look and you can enhance it uh, with the contour and the range goes all the way up to 100% and then you'll just need to use this kind of S so this is the, the contour I also applied a stroke just to define the edges and uh, just literally one pixel so it's 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 just really tiny the opacity uh, all the way back to 30% and I used the same color I think no it's a different one could use the same one I think I was just going for this kind of like uh, brownish color so it's a 18 and 157 uh, I also applied an inner shadow just to have a little bit of punch on the side here. But now that I'm looking at it, mm, maybe we don't even need it. Or do we need it? Mm. Okay, let's just keep it. Oh, we can we can just you know play with the size a little bit. Okay. Yeah, something like this is good. 
cool. So that's basically the, the shape and then the, the 3D look for this letter. And then you'll have to do, all you have to do is just multiply, uh, I mean duplicate it, and then just rotate it. Let's say rotate it this way. And well, you'll have to do some adjustments. Once you rotate, basically all the, all the uh, gradients will go off a little bit. So you go back here to stroke and then you just change the angle. I think it's uh, 90, yeah, perfect. And then it'll go back to normal. Also the inner shadow, yeah, that has to go as well to 90 and then it's all done, as you can see. I'm just going to delete it because I already have those. So got the U, M and E. The E was a bit different because it has got this kind of circle in the middle. So all I did, I just have this shape this sphere shape um, you can see and uh, it's pure black and then in the effect panel I started with the stroke define two pixel stroke and use the color the same I use for stroke A18157 and once that's done you need to go to blend and emboss and choose the style stroke emboss so basically this uh, emboss effect is going to be only applied for the stroke Depth 150%, size 2, the same as the stroke, and softness 0. Uh, I changed the altitude and the angle here to 90 and 30, and also the gloss contour to this curvy one. I didn't touch the highlight mode, the same color dodge white and then 75%, but the shadow I pulled back to 40%. Okay, so, so that's all for the for the this door you can see if I turn off the stroke it will just turn off the Babylon Embos effect. Now we go. Uh, this glow was really interesting. So I mean there's multiple way you could do that and I show you like you could basically have one of these pre-made one and then just drag it over and, and just transform it in a way that it will just look good like you know you can just take it like this is what I did here basically this is just transformed the same way you see like I started to play with this but uh, another technique I was using for this and let, let's just do it again so I'll just create a new layer and then just paint it black and and start to build up the the, the effect okay starting off with let's say something like this new layer and um, let's say 30% opacity and you oh sorry so basically we'll just go and start building this color up and then I just uh, go down a little bit with the size change the color to something lighter do a couple of brush strokes go down again Yeah, and then uh, all you have to do is just basically transform and you'll see you can uh, achieve a really nice sharp uh, uh, kind of uh, flare effect kind of look. So that's what I was doing, uh, just build up with more colors, get a really saturated one end and, and move down to, uh, uh, to the white range. I'm gonna delete these, we don't need them. There we go. So after that I just moved it behind this circle here and that was pretty much it. This background was, um, I think I was getting it from uh, a free stock image site. I'm going to share the whole PSD with you so you can have it also link the, the website to you guys if you wanna go and have a look around that website. It's pretty awesome. Um, so this is all I wanted to show you today and hope you like it and comment if you would if you have maybe another poster you like and you you want me to give a go and um, We can do that. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya